Welcome to my Just Jenny podcast. I'm really looking forward to interviewing Wendy McClendon Covey's cats. Um, <laughs> I feel that just as we were starting, you were talking to one of them, Butters. Butters, yeah, yeah. And so my hope is that Butters will be part of this conversation. <laughs> oh, he'll definitely walk across the keyboard at some point. Yeah, he, really he makes his presence known, believe me. Oh. Uh, number one on the call sheet of the Goldbergs, <laughs> we are ending season 10. Mm -hmm. Wendy, how do you feel about this? Um, I was watching it and I, God, I started to cry because of George Siegel. And then you have Jed Hirsch sort of playing that paternal person because you need that. I even was crying at the beginning of this season because of the death of Murray. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not because of the drama before the death right. of Murray, but because right. of the death of Murray, you guys handled it. You handled the whole thing so well. But how is it for you with the show's ending? And like, that's your family to some extent. That's my family, yeah. And um, I mean, a decade. Think of what happens in a decade. Yeah. You know, it's, I, if, God, as soon as we got the news, it was like, I, I couldn't wake up. I was sleeping like 16 hours a day. Yeah. Just the, the mental exhaustion of a whole, yeah. of a whole decade and the gratitude yeah. of, I mean, how lucky am I? Yeah. You know, this show will never yeah. be off the air. No, no. And you'll be rich and or rich, well, but apart from right, that. But the thing is, yeah. is like, we made something. Yeah, that was sweet and silly and had no vampires in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no, no and it's just like yeah. about real people. And and we filmed through the pandemic. We never shut down. Yeah. We, and I got to work with the sweetest people in all departments. And I consider <sighs> all those people my friends. So it's like, how am I supposed to live without everybody? I don't yeah. know. Right yeah. Now, no we would, we would be on hiatus anyway. Right. But then so, the fact that you're not going back to it, but I got to say also like the fact that it's so Jewish for me is just <laughs> really sweet and really familiar. And mm -hmm. I mean, the eighties, the Beverly as a grandmother, the clothing, the nostalgia. And then especially since we're at such a time where like, Jewish people are being just, <laughs> everyone hates us again. Um, I mean, yeah. It's like so refreshing to see on TV a fun depiction and um, it's just charming. Yeah. It was, you know, what's funny is that we did not start out being called the Goldbergs. We were called the Goldens. And someone sent me a, a, the call sheet from the pilot and yeah, Beverly Golden, that's what it says. So the um, president of ABC at the time Paul Lee just said, call yourselves the Goldbergs. Just do it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And so right. we didn't realize like what an act of defiance that was going to be. Right. You know? Yeah. Which is so silly because we, we don't, I mean, I don't even think we mentioned Hanukkah for the first three seasons. But yeah. And then the last season, it's the Briss. Yeah. Which does never obviously come to pass. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it's a little girl. Really so I know. Have a brisk, but, um, but, but, but we, it, when they yeah, when they don't know, there's a few. But when they don't know, exactly, exactly. But um, oh, you're right. That did happen. Yeah. So I, all my days are blending together, of course, Jenny. Everybody's yeah. every. It's yeah. I don't blame you. I mean, people are always, I'm mm -hmm. sure, saying to you like, "What was your favorite episode?" And what did you do? And and who can remember yesterday? Exactly. You yeah. hear him. You hear butters yeah. in there? I do. You're handsome. Do. Okay. Oh, I love That's what that. he demands. I let your cat life just. You know, I think I have so much envy because I'm allergic to cats, and I, oh. and you have so many, and like at any given time you could have more, and Thank I just you, please no. And I just love it, you know. But I do. I really. I think they're such incredibly interesting animals, and. Yeah. Like when you watch them all on TikTok or on Reels on Instagram, I just want these cat like the cat. They're so sweet, and yours have such personalities. They have such personalities, and now mm -hmm. they have a little stroller that they can ride in one at a time. Of course, time. they do. 
yes, I, do. I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even brought up that topic. No, but this is what I was going to say about you that I, that I love. It's like, you're super successful, right? Like most people don't get to be where you are and have that kind of 10 year sitcom where you're first on the call sheet. Like that's a very, very big deal. And yet you're the most unassuming. I mean, maybe in your real life, you're a total asshole, but like yeah, you seem to be right. <laughs> But you seem to be like the loveliest, most down to earth. Your husband does your hair like regular person. And I like I don't see you living in some ridiculous like mansion. Beyond, not that there'd be anything wrong with it. I just right. you strike me as a cozier kind of person. And you could be rich and cozy, but yeah. you just seem so fucking normal. Um, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. Um, and yeah, you don't, you don't see me really getting into trouble anywhere. I, yeah. I rarely go out. I, I like being at home. Yeah, I like I nesting. That. Me too. And mm -hmm. I like organizing or what I like to do is I like to buy all the organiza organizational stuff and then, um, leave it there on, on my desk. Fair. To dust for years. I mean, yes. I like to start projects and not finish them. Well, what if you get inspired? What if one afternoon you get inspired to mm -hmm. actually clean the space? You mm -hmm. need to have the containers at the ready. Exactly. And I did finally organize my she shed. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. What um, do you keep in there? Um, I keep all my sewing stuff and my crafting crap. Oh my God, I love this. And any memorabilia. Okay, wait, you know? so that's where like Beverly's stuff will go at the end? Yeah, and I don't have well, a now. lot of Beverly's stuff. Like, it's over. So I don't I don't hang on to that many things, but I was gifted the wig. Okay, well, who so, else is going to wear that? Yeah, I mean, oh, well, I thought for, for sure it would go to the Smithsonian. <laughs> 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 she deserves to be there. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, I'll, I'll find a lucite box or something to put that in. It is a shadow boxing is great. You should absolutely yes, do that yeah. because I did that with one of my husband's old flannel shirts when we were dating back in 1995. He had like a cozy green, like LL Bean flannel giant shirt that was his favorite. Uh -huh. So I promptly took it and wore it till it died. I mean, it died, the holes, the rips, the patches, but I couldn't bear to part with it. So we, we shadow boxed this giant shirt, shadow box it, it's lived on the wall ever since. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah there's certain things of my husband's that I can't throw out because I have too many snuggly memories. Right. You know? Right. right. And with the t-shirt and stuff, you can have, like my mom made a, um, a quilt out of some of our old concert shirts and stuff. Oh. So I'm going to have to have a whole Greg quilt of all his... 90s, you know, fresh jive. I love that. <laughs> so you quilt. That's one of the things you sew is you quilt. Um, I started a quilt about 25 years ago that I have Perfect. not. Used, but my mom is good with like, all right, here's here's all my squares that I hand stitched or whatever. She'll join it all together. I don't have the patience for that. So what, so what do you sew? What do you have the patience to make? I've sewed some vintage patterns. I've, I've sewn some things that I've worn out in public, wow. you know, but, um, I, I think, and I, I got to stop doing this. I love going to fabric stores. I love fabric stores. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then you get inspired by all the, you know, different textures and stuff. Yeah. And so I just bought a bunch of fabric and now it sits there like, what are you going to make out of me? Well, I don't know. Fabric. A beanie for butters. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I could, I could make a full little Lord Fauntleroy outfit, you know, with Let's knickers and a waistcoat for butters. Sure. Yeah. 